Hi, welcome back. I wanted to talk a little bit today about sinking. Now we talk, uh, we hear all the time about sinking in Wing Chun, sink your weight, sink your stance, sinking bridge. We hear sinking, sinking, sinking. And sinking means simply to drop the weight. So you keep your elbow in position and you're just using your body's weight to give credibility to your techniques. So you can step in, sink, you're heavier, you're relaxed, it's more difficult to, for the enemy to push you backwards. These are general martial concepts, not just, not just particular for Wing Chun. But there's an interesting thing uh, I wanted to talk about before we demonstrate uh, the sinking a little bit. And that is where in the system do we have proof that sinking is a thing? Sure, you can say, well, in, in Chum Q, we sink our weight or we sink our stance or we sink our bridge. And that's true. But I wanted to, to point out something that a lot of people overlook about where sinking our weight gets introduced in the system. In the very, very beginning, when we start our first move of our first form, we talk about sinking. The very first thing we do in Wing Chun, sink our weight. <coughs> Some people sink more, some people sink less. And that's relatively inconsequential to this discussion. But what's important is to think, hey, you know what, look at that, sinking. Now, why would they put that, the founders, the creators of the system, why would they put that in the system as the first thing we do if it was not important? Very interesting. One of the other things this points to is there are hints about how the system is, is executed throughout the system. And by exploring it a little bit, we can get some indicators about what the original creators of this holistic system had in mind. So, about sinking. Uh, let's just grab, let's just grab maybe Monte's good for this one. What we want to talk about is kind of sinking the weight or sinking. So if we step in, we can step in, I have something and I step in and I raise my weight and I do my tonda or whatever, and it's pretty easy for me to get bounced out of my stance. Yeah, just bounce me, yeah. And then I go to do something and it's, it's because my weight's up, my weight is raised. It's easy for me to not have too much credibility in my techniques. But if I have this and then I sink my weight, I drop my weight into this technique, keep my elbow kind of where it is, and just drop my weight. It's very easy for me to redirect the energy that's trying to bounce me and redirect it down into the ground. So I play my tonda, my circle step, do my circle step, sink my weight. Give some credibility. I have my lop here, and I sink my weight. And I'm not sinking by, I'm not getting here and then pulling down with my hands. This is not a handsy thing. This is keeping the elbow in this position. and then sinking. It's very difficult for some person to hold this kind of energy because they essentially have to be able to lift or curl my body weight. You know, that's like a good solid 125 pounds. So imagine having 125 pounds dropped onto your, onto your hands, just kind of like 
quickly dropped onto your hands. Very difficult to hold. So when we exercise our stepping, when we execute our techniques, we want to apply sinking at the right time so that we can help clear a path for our fist to go in. That's all I wanted to say about sinking for this lesson. Once again, I thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, bye for now.